lots of fun. Superbook fell off a shelf. Look what they've done. Today's story... That's a promise! Let's look in on Professor Peter at the house just down the street and around the corner. 4 p.m.? That'll be fine. Mm-hmm. See you then. Hooray! Phoebe! Christopher! And wait till you hear my oh. wonderful news! What's it all about, Father? Well, I'm going to appear on TV, on television. Really? How come? Fred, you fell asleep again. It is not a dream. I'm not asleep. They called me up just now. <clears throat> Would you consent to be interviewed regarding your work on ancient vases? They said they'd come to my home and put me <gasps> on tape. When? Today, for this afternoon. It's quite a bother, but it's the price of fame. Fred, what if I should get asked to appear as well? My hair's a mess and I haven't a thing to wear. I'll have to go shopping this minute and get my hair done. Hurry back. The show must go on, you know. <laughs> now then, Chris, find your cousin, will you? He was here, but yeah. he left. Well, there's something lost which he's trying to locate. Right, but it'll take a while. Finding it won't be easy. Now, Christopher, stop making up alibis. You must have Yuri home here by four. Why? Because my TV fans want to meet my whole family. Run along while I go change into my best suit. What a thrill, right? But you look worried. How will I get Yuri back on time? You have to. Mm-hmm. Cousin Yuri has gone back in time to look for his missing puppy. Oh, where can she be? Bubbles has to show up sometime, Master. We'll just search through all of ancient Israel. This must be the land of Gilead. Look. That village in the valley there reminds me of home. It's the kind of peaceful place where we might find the dog. Tank? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I always say. Yeah, why not, Gizmo? Come on! Away we go! Our friends are headed for the town of Mizpah, which is far less peaceful than it looked from a distance. Gosh. Quite a lot of soldiers here. Why? Hey, you two. Huh? Night. <gasps> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Your face was quite a picture when you turned around and saw me there. Yeah. I was scared, all right, because you look so big and mean. <laughs> <laughs> Archie's harmless as a little sparrow. But tell us, child, why did you come here at this time? It's unsafe. We're getting our soldiers ready to defend our land against the Ammonites. Parents are told to make their children stay home. Hmm. We gotta get Waffles out of danger, then. Ruffles is our pup who's lost. A little dog? We didn't see one around here. Come back here. What did you say? Huh? <laughs> you heard me, Jephthah. Oh, dear, another quarrel. You can't get away with it. Face it, Jephthah. You know you're wrong. But I'm Gilead's son, the same as you. We are brothers, remember? Not quite. We're half-brothers, that's all. Hmm. Jephthah? Huh? These arguments are unseemly. Brother, who's to blame here? 
Him. You know him. He claims that he has a right to expect an equal share of father's estate, the same as us. But it's what I deserve, because I'm Gilead's son, even though I haven't the same mother as you two have. But you don't belong here. I do. You're wrong. Why? You're not one of our family. Uh, you can't disinherit me. We can. We are the rightful heirs. But these arguments are not likely to solve anything. Therefore, let us ask the elders for their decision. All right. Malachi, what do you say? Mm, from a legal point of view, you have no claim. Hmm? Malachi! <laughs> I trust you're convinced, Jephthah, that you should get nothing of fathers. <laughs> Why are they laughing, Gizmo? Because they won their case. Hmm, but I think Tepta's getting tweeted wantonly. Well... Part of the reason for that is that they've always been jealous of Jephthah, even though they grew up together. Why? Because Jephthah's half-brothers aren't so good as warriors, but he's great. He's led our soldiers to many victories. Mm, well, it's perfectly clear you'd like to get me out of here. As far as I'm concerned, I'd just as soon never see you again, brothers. I'm taking my family and moving as far away from here as I can. I don't need father's inheritance. Keep it. Mm. As of now, I spurn my kinship with you. Oh, well, sure you mean the proud warrior meant what he said. He disowned his half-brothers and left his father's home with his wife and daughter. But before long, the Gileadites were involved in a war. The Ammonites were a fierce and hostile tribe. They attacked Israel without provocation. The Israelites were no match for the superior Ammonite army and were forced to retreat. Then, why is Israel being slaughtered? Can't our soldiers fight any better? Sure, but not without someone like Jephthah to lead us. Right, we need him. Hmm? Hmm? Ooh, Jephthah, you say? <laughs> But Jephthah was far away. After leaving Gilead, he moved to the land of Tob, where he was living with his family and a group of followers. She put the cake in the oven upside down. <laughs> My daughter's blushing. <laughs> Honey, you're a horrid cook, but I love you. Stop teasing me about it, Father. Jephthah. Huh? Get in there. Uh, let go. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I found out he's a spy against Israel. He's made a lot of money selling information to the Ammonites now that the war started between us. What? My country went to war? Yes, that's right, sir. <laughs> Release the scoundrel now. Take his money and go and distribute it to the soldiers' needy widows. Yes, sir. All right. Here we go. <laughs> So, the war has begun at last. Watch your step, because something tells me we're in danger here. Oh, what kind of danger? Ambush! <gasps> Who's there? Barbos is the name! How dismal! State your business, or I'll chop off your head! I uh, was just looking around. We, we, we aren't here on business. Sounds like you're lying. Better confess, or I'll slice you in two. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not lying, honest. Spare us. We're just here to hunt truffles. You're here to hunt truffles? Fooey, I was sure you were an Ammonite spy ring. But it's well known that they're too lazy to ever go hunt truffles. Wait a second. Why don't you join my club? Join your Thanks club. Thanks a lot, but I don't want to. Join the club or I'll have to club you like this. <laughs> Step on it, Master. Now is our chance to escape. Away from me! I can lead you to what you're looking for. What? You can't? <laughs> is it true? You really will find Wubbles, Burgles? Shh! 
Sure, finding truffles wouldn't be hard. Wait just a minute, you two. Members to trust each other. We're in this club together, so you gotta treat me right, you know. But I'm not sure what you do in your club. Something kind of fishy, I suspect. We do a lot of good. We seek and capture Ammonite spies and grab their earnings to feed all the poor folk. Follow me. I repeat, it sounds like something fishy. Come on, behave yourself or you'll be out of the club. Be good boys and we'll go visit Mr. Jephthah. Really? Maybe you've heard of him because he's a famous warrior from Gilead, but he lives here now with his wife and daughter. She's the apple of his eye, and no wonder she's the prettiest girl I ever saw. Hey, look! Want to see the house where Jephthah lives? Wow! What brings you here, Malachi? We've come to ask you to lead our army in the war against the Ammonites. In the name of all the Israelites, we beg you to give us your help. As you know, without you, Israel has no leadership. If you won't help, we'll be completely destroyed by the foe in time. When I got expelled out of my home, I didn't get any help from you, yet now you come to me when you're in trouble. Please forgive us. If you lead us to victory, we'll see to it that you'll be the ruler in Gilead from now on. We convinced your half-brothers to agree to this decision. Please, Jephthah. Please. Not until you give me your pledge that I shall be Gilead's ruler. May God be my witness. I'll go and fight them for God and Israel. Let's pick up our story back in Mizpah. Jephthah has returned and assumed the leadership of Israel. Ooh. It's scary here, Gizmo. Want to leave? Honey, Grace, Gadu. Commander! Message from the King of Ammon! Uh-oh. Sir, the King maintains that you have to surrender the entire Amorite land because he claims it's theirs. He what? Wants the land returned? Yes, sir. What a ridiculous demand to make. The Lord God took that land away from the Amorites 300 years ago and gave it to Israel. It's rightfully ours, and Ammon's got no claim to it. If you ask me, they're just looking for trouble. I tried to avoid bloodshed for as long as we could. Maybe it's time now to act. We cannot permit our country's own land to be taken away by them. Right. I agree. Notify the soldiers to prepare for war immediately. Yes, sir. Message from Jephthah. Hey, why is the big announcement? The commander told me to give you the word. We're going to war. Ah, Lord, please. Grant that I shall defeat our foes. Please allow me to return home to Gilead in triumph. And I make a vow that I shall sacrifice to you the person who leads all others out of my door to come greet me. Oh, are you going now, Father? Yes, very soon. Oh, Father, please do your best to return safely. Yes, indeed, my sweet girl. Besides, I prayed for the Lord to help. And I am sure he will not let us down. Of course not. The war against Ammon began. With Jephthah in command, the Israelite troops became formidable foes. Home to victory! Jephthah's troops advanced through Ammon. Second battalion, charge! One by one, the enemy cities fell to the Israelites. Men, take this one and Evans destroyed. Charge! Victory is ours! The city is ours! The Lord has delivered Evan into our hands! Oh, 
Barkas comes back from the war safely. Hail the conquering hero! Huh? Greetings! He's here! Barkas! Yay, when I'm back home! You okay? We were afraid you might get hurt. Is the fighting over now? Yeah, we did it. We slaughtered them. But I was the one who dealt the decisive blow. Oh, you really did? Master, I huh? detect the smell of fish. Hey, fish indeed. Watch your mouth or you'll end up filleted. Meanwhile, Jephthah's family had yet to hear the wonderful news. Oh, what's happening? The troops are back. Thank the Lord. God was with me and granted me victory. He didn't let you down. Oh. What's bothering you, Father? Let me return in triumph, Lord, and I vow to sacrifice to you the first person who comes out my door to greet me. <laughs> Father dear? Daughter, you know I prayed to God to ask that he help me. Yes, Father. But I also made God a promise that if I returned in triumph, I'd sacrifice whoever should first come out my door. <gasps> uh, why? 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 My only child, why did it have to be you? Why you? Oh, how I wish I'd lost. What a price to pay to be victorious. Oh, it breaks my heart, but I can't take back my word. I promise God. <laughs> My congratulations. May God bless you for your fine bravery and support. Thank you, men. Thank you, one and all. It's a great celebration, Commander. It's a night to remember, sir. Indeed. Father. Huh? Listen. Father, I have to tell you something. What is it? Since the Lord has delivered Israel's foes to you, you have to do as you have promised him. But could you... Wait to give me to God just two months longer, please. So that I may roam the mountains with some friends and grieve that I won't ever have a husband. <laughs> please, Father, may I? <laughs> yes, we will wait. And so Jephthah sent his daughter away with her friends to grieve. Everyone in Israel heard her story and sorrowed for her, too. The two months passed quickly, and the time soon arrived for Jephthah to sacrifice his beloved daughter to God. Father, dear, Kiss me goodbye and say a blessing over me. Then, then I'll give my life to my Heavenly Father and fulfill your vow, oh, Father. Oh, daughter. <laughs> Bless you, my daughter. It is time. I have to go now. And so, 
Jephthah's daughter gave her life to pay for her father's victory over the Ammonites. And ever after, it became a custom for the daughters of Israel to go and lament for the daughter of Jephthah four days out of every year. Oh, cry, Marcus. I feel such pity for Jephthah, because his daughter was so dear to him. And she was his only daughter. But he's more to be admired than pitied. That's right, because he did what he told the Lord that he would, didn't he? Now I hope that Marcos does what he told us he would do. Marcus, you said you'd get waffles. <laughs> Yuri, please don't hate me. Why should I? I lied. I can't keep my promise like Jephthah. You see, I never eat them myself. <laughs> so I can't tell you where any of those truffles could be. Huh? Sorry, but I had to pretend. Because I knew I wouldn't get you to join my club. Otherwise, nobody ever wants to join. Don't worry. We're not mad. I'm ashamed of myself. Go on and find your truffles and leave me alone. <laughs> oh, poor Bogus. <laughs> Master, we do have to go. Guess you're right. So long! Farewell! Gizmo, what are truffles? I do not know. Hmm. Something to eat, perhaps? Oh, yeah? Ruffles could eat them? Master, do not worry. Chris may call us with some leads to where she is. Sure. Very soon. Oh! Well, no sooner said than done. Yuri, please get home. Fast! Oh no, we gotta! For sure! People are coming to the house today to interview Dad for a television show. Yeah? You just gotta be here on time, or Dad will have kittens. I will teleport us home at once. In a minute! Barcos! So long! We're not mad! We still want to be in your club, so don't cry! Bye! Why do you too, Ruffles? Oh, you're here somewhere. We have to go home to the 20th century now. We'll be back and find you soon. And that's a promise.